Motlamola Mushwewu died after he was thrown from a moving bucky near Kolini. Peter Doravalt's lawyer says the crime was not racially motivated. She believes the court must acknowledge he was not the one who threw Mushwewu from the vehicle. She says the incident has taken a toll leaving her client depressed. At the same time, Philip Scudder's advocate says he's also haunted by the incident so much so that he's lost about 40 kilograms. He's also pointed to the fact that Scudder has no previous criminal history. Both lawyers say they don't believe life sentences will help the community. But the state is saying Duravalt and Skerte acted with common purpose in killing Mushwewu. The prosecutors describing it as a barbaric act that polarized the Kolini community along racial lines. This, the state believes, means that the two should rot in jail. It says the fact that the two accused lied in court means they can't be rehabilitated. Community members are watching the case closely. But a stiffer sentence, it will be a deterrent to those hooligans outside there who still want to do this thing. Look, this country, as I used to say, it, it needs everybody. For us, for us to build it, you need everybody. Now all eyes are on Judge Ronnie Hendricks to decide what punishment befits the crime. Sentencing will take place on the 6th of March. Malungi Elubui, Mahigeng.